This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 14, uh, which is Project Interactive Card, and Part 6. I already have this. I know, I know, you're jealous. Um, and so let's see what we're doing next. User input. You've got a background, you've got sprites. Now it's time to give your user something to do. Do this. On the interactions table from your planning sheet that I gave you if you're my student or that your teacher gave you, it's the worksheet that you plan this out on, find all the interactions that rely on your user input key and mouse movements. For each of those interactions, add an if block or if else if you need a fallback action inside the draw loop. Add the appropriate input block for your condition, such as key down, key up, add the necessary actions in the if block. Challenge, can you create more sophisticated conditionals by nesting them or using compound booleans? Ooh, that is some fancy lingo they got going there. All right, so let's dive in. So my plan was that if we clicked on these guys, that I want to turn the scene to night. So let's go ahead and start doing that. In my draw loop, I'm going to need the condition then. So control. It's a lot of complicated lingo, but we'll be fine. So first we're going to do an if block, okay? And if, and then I want to check world. Uh huh. Mouse pressed over, and actually, it's only the dino that's going to do this. So if the mouse is pressed over the dino, I want my background color to be, well, let's just say blue for now. And then else, if not, it's going to be the normal color. So let me just try this out. So we're at the normal color. And so if I'm holding my mouse, oh, it's dark. All right, perfect. I want dark blue though. Will that work? Better. And then we got to gray out the sun. Oh, maybe we should just have a cloud appear over. Because remember, our sun can be a different size. Nope, I'm just going to put a big moon. So also, we're going to draw an ellipse. Oh, I can use that same variable, and it will be the same size anyways. Sun size. Sun, size, and then 350. I'm using these exact same numbers that I had before. And 50, reset, run. <laughs> Love this. So this is going good, but notice our sun isn't changing. So what I want to do now is I want to grab this fill yellow. I want all of this in the else, right? So that way we only draw a yellow sun if if we are not clicking, right? So our code in the draw loop now says, all right, is mouse pressed over dino? And if the computer says true, mouse is pressed over dino, it will then make it dark blue, gray out the sun. Oh, got to reset. Gray out the sun and skip everything in the else. However, the computer says, no, 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 false. Mouse is not pressed over dino. If it's false, the computer skips all of this code, but then runs everything in the else. I don't want this to have an outline, so I just need to move no stroke. I'm going to put it at the top of the if. That way it applies to everything. Perfection. Great. Let's keep going.